At Brookshire Brothers, we pride ourselves in our core values, values that define who we are as people, who we are as a company, and who we are as a grocer. Simply put, each and every day we want to serve our customers with a smile, with a sense of urgency, and with a passion for our company and the products that we carry. We want the entire customer experience to be the very best that we can offer. Part of this is done by making the check payment process as convenient as possible. Telecheck is a check acceptance company that helps retailers decide whether to accept a check based off of information that has been previously sent through their system. The check will be converted to electronic or manual based off of information gathered from the check during the processing. In this video, you will learn how to process these checks with the Telecheck system. Let's take a look at the electronic check process. An electronic check means that the funds are automatically withdrawn from the customer's checking account and a paper check will be returned to the customer at the end of the transaction. To process an electronic check, first scan all of the customer's items. Then press enter on the register to get the transaction total. Press the check tender key and then you will be prompted to enter the amount that the check is written for and press enter. Insert the check into the telecheck printer face up and with the MICR numbers facing to the right side. The authorization process screen should appear with a window that reads check type. Here you will select the check type that you are processing, either personal, business, government, or other. Next, select the type of ID. Your choices are driver's license, government ID, social security, military ID, or immigration ID. It is important to look at the ID before the next step and make sure it is valid, not expired, and is the person that's standing in front of you writing the check. At the inner ID window, scan the 2D barcode located on the back, top of the ID as seen here with the handheld scanner. If the customer has an older or other type of ID, it may not scan and you will need to manually enter the ID number and press enter. You will now enter the state code. Enter 48 for Texas or 22 for Louisiana and press enter. A window will pop up with Approved for Electronic Conversion and it will ask for the customer's signature on the pin pad. The customer will need to sign and press Done. The signature will then appear on the register screen. You'll need to verify that it's legible, then select Yes to accept the signature. Next, the screen will read Press C to skip check front printing. You should not press C to skip the check front printing as it will not print void across the front of the check. Just a reminder, if your printer ribbons are not working properly, the void may not print on the check, therefore you will need to pay close attention to the type of check you are processing. Once finished, remove the check from the printer. The system will prompt you to return the check to the customer and hit C to continue. The transaction will finalize and the receipt will print when the check is removed from the printer. Now you will need to verify the front and back of the check to make sure it says electronic on the back then hand it along with the receipt to the customer. Remember, you should always circle the savings, promos and etc. at the bottom of the receipt and bring it to the customer's attention when you hand it back to them. Now that you have the electronic check process down, let's look at the manual check process. A manual check is when you keep the check and place it in the till. A manual check is not handed back to the customer. This could happen when the telecheck system or the Brookshire Brothers network is down. And when this happens, all checks will be manual checks. Much of this procedure will be familiar to you as the first steps are just like the electronic check. First, you'll scan all the customer's items, press enter on the register to get the transaction total, press the check tender key, and then you will be prompted to enter the amount that the check is written for and press enter again. Insert the check into the telecheck printer face up with the MICR numbers facing to the right side. The authorization process screen should appear with the window that reads check type and here again you will select the check type that you are processing, either personal, business, government or other. Next, select the type of ID. Your choices are driver's license, government ID, social security, military ID or immigration ID. It is important to look at the ID before the next step and make sure it is valid, not expired, and is the person in front of you that is writing the check. At the inner ID window, scan the 2D barcode located on the back top of the ID as seen here with the handheld scanner. If the customer has an older or other type of ID, it may not scan and you will need to manually enter the ID number and press enter. You will now enter the state code. 
enter 48 for Texas or 22 for Louisiana and press enter. The system will state that it is approved and then will ask for the customer's signature on the pen pad. The customer will press done when finished and you will verify the signature on your screen then press yes to accept. Next, the screen will read press C to skip check front printing. If the customer has filled the check out to Brookshire Brothers and filled in the check amount already, it is okay to skip the check front printing. If not, then you should not skip and the printer will fill in the required check information. Once finished, you can remove the check from the printer. The receipt will print and you will need to verify the back of the check endorsement to make sure it says manual check. The receipt will say check. All manual checks should have a T-bar on the front. You will need to put your employee ID and initials the time and date, the driver's license or ID number, and the customer's phone number. Make sure the customer has signed the check. The word manual on the back of the check and the receipt will not be your only indication to place the check in the cash drawer. You should not hand the check back to the customer, only the register receipt. Now let's see what to expect if a customer gets a decline code on the check. If the customer's check is declined, you will receive a decline code message on the register screen. Explain to the customer that we cannot accept their check at this time and if they have another form of payment. Give the customer the check back along with a telecheck card. Write the decline code on the card and explain that they can call 1-800-366-2425 to determine the reason for the decline. Now let's do a quick review. Always check the driver's license or ID to make sure it is current and the person pictured is the person writing the check. You will need to be very aware on manual checks, as the only way to tell that it is manual and needs to be kept is the endorsement on the back of the check and the receipt that will say manual. Manual checks will need to be kept in the till. Failure to do so will make your till short. If a check is declined, be sure to write the decline code on a telecheck card. Hand the check and card back to the customer. Personal checks can be either electronic or manual, but all other checks taken will always be manual. In the event that your Verifone signature pad is down, the register will automatically print a manual signature sheet for the customer to sign. Be sure to place the signed sheet in your till. Remember, it is your responsibility to handle these transactions with knowledge and accuracy. This concludes your cashier telecheck training. Remember, if you have any questions, be sure to ask a manager. Have a great day. <laughs>